Hey loves, welcome back to my channel. Tara Gay Nicole here. How are you guys doing? I hope you are doing well. I'm doing well. Um, so today we're going to do another What Soul video. It looks like a lot of people liked watching it and a few people did comment saying that they enjoyed watching it to keep them coming. So that's what I'm going to do at least until the month of August is over and hopefully I will continue them on my channel. Um, we're going to do the week of the 12th of August. So that'll be the 12th to the 18th. Because I start my weekday on a Sunday and end it on a Saturday. Um, I think maybe going forward I might start doing every two weeks. But I'll see which one I like better. Something is in my eye. So I just want to start off by saying I am a part-time reseller. Because it's what everybody says. So I think this is what I should say. I am a part-time reseller on the Poshmark app. And I have a few things listed to Macari. I do want to cross post a little bit more. Especially my plus size items. My name on there is Curvy Style Remix. I'll make sure to put it across the bottom. It's Curvy Style Remix on Poshmark. Um, so let's get right into this video. Oh, let me just tell you what my goals were for this month. Because I am part-time, my goal is to make $350 to $500 for the month to sustain my part-time income that I was getting and um, you know, help out with bills and such. And so far I think I'm on track, although I didn't sell every day. I don't sell major items and I don't sell high expensive items currently, but I do eventually want to um, bring my store in that direction. There, But this is just a starting point for me. So let's get started. The first on August 12th, Sunday, August 12th, I sold two items. I listed three items and I profited $19.35. This is my little chart that I'm looking down at and then I'm using the laptop to tell you the items. The items will probably be, let me make sure I leave enough room, somewhere on the screen over here. So the first item that I sold were these forever, forever, they're fashion to figure railroad stripe boyfriend distress jeans. And they were a size 24. They actually came out of my closet. And I sold them for $7. Um, they were full profit because they were out of my closet. There was a Poshmark fee of $2.95. And it was $4 profit from myself and $0.05. Cents. The rating was 5 star. She loved them. Thought they were cute, comfy, packaged nicely with a cute little note. And she said thank you. Um, the next item that stole that day were some Toria me Medium Wash Skinny Jeans in a 20 regular. They were priced, uh, I must have sent out an offer to Likers and there was $21 minus a $4.20 Poshmark fee and then a shipping discount of $1.50 and they left me with $15.30. Um, super fast. They uh, gave me a five. Everything pretty much got a five star rating so far. Um, super fast shipping arrived. Described great seller. Sort of thank you. Those uh, sat in my closet a little bit longer than I thought they would. Weird, because usually Torrid goes on my website now. The next item that sold was an Anthropology Maze Sayona polka dot swing top, and that was price. She offered fifteen dollars. And with a $3 Poshmark fee, I made $12. I'm not going to do cost of goods sold, not because I'm trying to be shady or anything, just because I don't remember because I didn't inventory all of these. But I feel like I got excited when I found this top and I feel like I made $6. I paid $6 for it because I was so excited to find Maeve that I kind of just evened out on this top um, by making $12 so I just, or I just made my money back. <laughs> so, but that's okay. That was one of my earlier purchases and you'll learn in this game. You live and learn and you will learn what works for you and what doesn't sell for you. Um, and what you should pay up for. Okay. So that was it for the 12th. On the 13th, I sold nothing <laughs> and I listed nothing and therefore I prop, pro profited nothing and I've been had this whole this whole last week was pretty much a back and forth like sold didn't sell sold didn't sell you'll see so then moving on to the 14th um, I sold three items listed three items and profited $48.55 the first item I sold was this Madewell full cross front plaid dress in a size 6 keep in mind I'm just making up these descriptions and I try to be very much descriptive as I can, and I'll be doing a video on that as well. Um, price, 
I think I had them for 45 and she offered me, or I sent out an offer to Likers because she liked it for $40 and a Poshmark fee of $8 was applied and $1.50 shipping discount and I made $30.50. Honestly, I posted that mid ball dress on Sunday and it sold on Tuesday. That mid ball dress went so fast. It was ridiculous and she gave me a 5 star rating which made me really happy because it was a used dress. And then I also sold an Adidas Coral Stripe Long Sleeve Climalite Top and Medium. And I sold it for $9. A Poshmark fee is $2.95. I made $6.05. I probably paid 3 bucks for that shirt. Um, it was when I thought, I heard everybody, everybody was talking about how Adidas and Nike and all that sold. And I picked up Adidas and Nike. The Nike still sitting in my store. And the Adidas, I just wanted to get rid of it. It wasn't, I guess I didn't pay enough attention because what I'm finding out is if your Adidas doesn't have like Adidas written all over the front or something like that, it's not really something that's going to sell. So I was really happy just to get rid of that. <clears throat> and then the third item that's oh no I don't know why I said three items sold why did I say three items sold I think that was only two items sold you guys I'm sorry oh no I'm sorry I gave you that Siona <laughs> that anthro anthropology maze Sioni's top actually sold on the 14th as well before it was just two items and now I'm confusing myself the two items that sold on the Sunday were the two jeans and the Maeve top, the Madewell dress, and the Adidas coral top sold on the Tuesday of the 14th. <clears throat> now that we're back on track. And then on the 15th, nothing sold. I listed five items and therefore I profited nothing. <laughs> and then on the 16th, I sold four items. One Macari item, three Poshmark items. I listed zero items. And I made $46.25 combined. Um, the first thing that sold on Poshmark was this QMAC green and navy plaid button front blazer. And I didn't know the brand or anything like that. But I really love the sweater. Not sweater. The blazer because I would have bought that blazer for myself. And that's what I try to put in, closet, in my closet. Things that I would have bought for myself if they could fit me. And it was a size 12. It was... A offer to likers I love offer to likers guys if you like offer to likers comment down below or give me a thumbs up because y'all know that offer to likers but button is the best um, except that I wish you didn't have to give the shipping discount but I think that's what helps them buy it so you know you get it um, she, I got a five-star rating she said thanks so very much I love it um, thank you so much I love it and it was $28 with $5.60 Poshmark fee and a shipping discount of $1.50. So I profited $20.90. I believe I only paid $3 for that item. So that was really good profit. If I remember, I'll try to put it in there. It did sit in my closet for a while, but it sold for a good money. So I was very happy. The next item that sold on the 16th was this J. Jill Pure J. Jill Pure Jill open front hooded cardigan in an extra large and that honestly sold within like a day I think I posted that I think I posted that the day before and it sold the next day it she uh, I've sent out an offer to likers $27 a Poshmark fee of $5.40 and a shipping discount of $1.50 and I profited $20.10 and I think I also paid $3 for that item and she gave me a five star rating. I think she's the first person I've shipped to that was actually in my state. And then the last item that was on uh, Mercari was, no, no, I lied. The third item you guys, it's hard to do this because I'm trying to talk to you and look at the laptop at the same time. The third and final item that sold on Poshmark was a new with tag, Cynthia Rowley, 100% linen cactus print T in a 3X. Um, I sold it for $13 on offer to Likers and a Poshmark fee of $2.95 and a shipping discount of $1.50. And my earnings were $8.55. She had to give me a five star rating, said she loved the top and she can't wait to what she can't wait. She can't. She can't, can't wait to wear. That's what it says. My God, I couldn't even get that out. 
but it was also my size and I honestly was going to keep it because I definitely lost money on this. I bought it as like a retail arbitrage before I knew that Cynthia Raleigh wasn't going to go for so much and I think I paid like 12 bucks for it and only made $8 so I actually lost money on this sale and I probably should have just kept the tank but it was a little big for me so it's okay she loves it and she can't wait to, she can't wait she just she wants to wear it I don't know why I can't say that and then the last item I sold was a item on Mercari and it was I said the wrong item. It was actually a Zara stripe knit top with ruffle shoulders and I paid $11.05. I got made $11.05. I try to pay shipping on anything that's lightweight and their shipping is a basic $4.95 on anything under a pound. So that was it for the 16th and then on the 17th I sold nothing. You see what I'm saying? So it, it was like a pattern for that week. I don't know what it was. I sold nothing. I listed four items and I profited nothing on the 17th. And then on Saturday, I sold seven items. I listed three items and I made a profit of $61.55, I think it says, or $61.05. Now I can't read my own handwriting. Um, so let's get started. I sold a torrid gray top with white sheer hem in the size zero, which I think equates to like their size large. Um, I sent out a offer to Likers for $11 because it was just sitting in my store and it was $2.95 Poshmark fee, $1.50 shipping fee, and it was $6.55. I honestly don't remember what I paid for this. Um, and I got a five star rating, so obviously she's happy with her item. And you know, that Sioni Anthropology top is not delivered yet, and I'm a little worried. I haven't gotten paid for it. That person, I don't think it has it. I might have to call the, sh the people, the USPS tomorrow, because that's ridiculous. Everybody else who went out days after has their stuff, and she doesn't have her stuff. Um, okay, on to the next thing. August 18th, I also sold a New With Tags Harry Potter Hogwarts foil tee in a size large. I thought this tee was so cute when I picked it up. And I believe I paid three bucks for it. I sent out offers to Likers because I was just tired of sitting there. It was ridiculous. But I didn't know at the time tees didn't go for that much. So I just assumed it would go for more. I didn't think that one through. I got a five star rating and I know for sure it was supposed to be for someone's daughter whose birthday it was who likes Harry Potter. So I was happy to sell that to them. It was $10 with a Poshmark fee of $2.95 and a shipping discount of $1.50 for giving me a profit of $5.22. So... I didn't make much money on that, but at least I don't think I lost money. And then I sold a Not Your Daughter's Jeans Pink and Gray floral button down top in a size large. And it is, I sold it for 20 bucks. She just offered me $20. I think I had it for 25 She offered me $20 and I was definitely going to take it because it's been sitting in my closet for at least a month or two. And I thought, you know, it's never going to sell. And it was $4 of Poshmark fee and I made a $16 on that and I'm pretty sure I paid three bucks so I'm looking at what like a $13 profit which is great and then um, she gave me a five star rating um, and then last but not least wait did I sell eight items correction wait I don't even know y'all I'm so all over the place I'm sorry oh no I'm not losing it <laughs> There was a, yeah, yeah, the Harry Potter, this is, this, this is all over the place. It, the Harry Potter, the Not Your Daughters, and the next items are what sold. Those are the seven items. I think that other, that other shirt was supposed to be on with the 16th items, if I didn't say that already. So, um, the last five items were in a bundle and they were a bundle of five shirts there was this Knox rose olive green embroidered shirt in extra extra large there was a Croft and borrow olive green 100% cotton top in extra extra large both of those got a lot of love when I first posted them there's a Lane Bryant blue and white stripe button down in a size 14 that one didn't get as much love Lane Bryant, black and white circle, printed top, size 16, not as much love, but got some love. And then the Coldwater Creek Ivory 100% silk button down blouse that had a decent amount of love, but not like the first two items. And she offered me $50 for the entire bundle, 
and they'll have to and I accepted because some of those items in there I don't think they were gonna take too long to sell and some were doing okay um, and and I took that $50 offer and she and there was a $10 Poshmark fee and then I earned $40 on that so very happy about that five item bundle could not be happier um, and that was it so from the 12th to the 18th let's see let me just pull up the calculator and we'll add it right now 1935 or not it doesn't want to work <laughs> 1935 plus 4855 plus 4625 plus 61 I'm gonna say 05 and that's 175 in a week which is amazing sometimes i didn't make that in two weeks at my part-time job so right now it's going really well i will be going on vacation today is actually the 22nd that i'm making this video and i really haven't sold that much <laughs> right now but i'm hoping september will be a better month when people are hopefully i thought they'd be shopping for back to school now but we'll, we'll see. Um, you guys let me know how your sales are going. Are you looking forward to September? Do you think the sales will pick up in September? Keep in mind, this is my first year doing this. I just started in May, so I don't know what the trends are. But I definitely realized that there was definitely a summer slowdown, like most people said. But I don't want to make this video entirely too long. That was my sales for um, the third week of August and I am going on vacation from the 24th to the 28th so I might do the last two weeks in August as a batch or maybe not we'll see if I find time to record a video while I'm away all right guys thanks so much for watching remember in order to be great you have to be grateful and I'm very grateful for you have a wonderful blessed day